It is windy in Wyoming. We have left northern New Mexico. We drove the Enchanted Circle. Uh, had an absolute blast at Red River. We are headed up to South Dakota via Wyoming. We are in Wheatland, Wyoming. Pretty little town. And we're camped here at a free site at a city park. It's really nice. It's really nice to see green grass, actually. I think that's what I'm enjoying the most about it. And it's like in the mid 70s, which is really nice. Quite windy, but it feels good. It does, especially oh, after coming from New Mexico. It was so hot down by Taos. We met a lovely elderly lady named Diane and her dog walking around the park. She told us about a museum we can go check out. No dogs allowed on baseball field. I don't let dogs have any fun. It looks more like a practice. So this is a replica of the original 13 star flag from a local here to Wheatland. It's really cool. I've never seen one of those. We don't have any federal or state or local government funding. It's all just private donation. All of it's been donated by, by local people. Even as recent as World War II, which most of those uniforms are, Mm -hmm. the, the people were just a lot smaller. As far as visitors here, we sometimes have around 500 in the summer. People on the way to Yellowstone or the Black Hills. They got Bullwinkle. <laughs> a big old wagon like this and they put like a platform on top of it and then we would put all the square bells on there when we would put up hay. Thank you, that was really Oh yeah, well enjoy the Black Hills. Night number two in Wheatland. We came down to the uh, reservoir and we're going to uh, make dinner. I'll get a few shots of the reservoir. What do you eat when you're at the lake? Wild Alaskan salmon, of course. I thought that one was pretty obvious. LB, does mommy find me funny, even though I'm not? <laughs> We are pulling out of Wheatland. It was a fun two nights here. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous weather, beautiful park and boondocking spot. 
all for a five dollar donation it was a blast we are now headed up to the custer south dakota area we might stay in custer state park we might stay at an rv park in custer we don't have reservations yes. so we are winging it and we are being <laughs> calm about it yes we will eventually find a place to park tonight <laughs> even if it's driving to like a walmart parking lot in rapid city but i don't think we'll have to do that so but uh just gonna enjoy a nice three hour drive hopefully lb will sleep most of the way and uh we look forward to getting into south dakota just going to check out a campground to see if there's any reservations. Do we stop to pay the 20? Um, just be aware that you can pull over anywhere you risk being a ticket. It, the only thing we're going to do is check out the campgrounds and if not, we're heading back to an RV park. Okay, do you want the number to call? We uh, tried and tried couldn't that. get through. Can you go online at And We couldn't not even get the site yeah, to work. That's what I've been hearing. That's too bad. Yeah. yeah that'd be fine. Just, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we don't plan to. Thank you. We are in the Bismarck Lake Campground in the broader Custer State Park area. This is not technically part of Custer State Park, but you do have to drive into Custer in order to get here. And we got a wonderful first come first serve site. This area is gorgeous, yeah, super peaceful. Really, really nice. It is 30 a night for no hookups, but there is a water spigot and bathrooms right next to us. So we can actually mm -hmm. use the bathrooms. Uh, we have full tanks, we've got solar. So we don't mind, we're at least here five nights. Um, but yeah, we may stay seven to ten days because there's quite a bit in the Custer mm -hmm. area we want to explore before we head off to the Badlands so we're gonna walk down to the lake for dinner. So we're only a couple weeks into this RV lifestyle and one of my favorite things so far is getting to um, enjoy our evening walks in a different place every evening if we want to and this evening we're enjoying our dinner here by this really pretty lake and it's just a great opportunity to get out in nature and wind down towards the end of the day and get ready to go to bed when the sun goes down like out here it's so gorgeous and like nature quiet um there are no cars there are some flies but there are no cars no noise pollution, um, and it's just way more relaxing. Is that just your buddy? So around Custer, they have these painted buffaloes, and they're all different decorations. This one is the cathedral spires, the cathedral spires we that we just, just drove through along the Needle Highway. This is a very cool one. They've got some mountain goats and a very detailed picture of the cathedral spires. We are hanging out at the Stockade Lake in Custer State Park. LB is watching his mommy wade off into the lake. Dagny is just rolling around. Oh, Dagny. <laughs> Whoa, what is a baby thing? 
He doesn't like that. <laughs> he just made a face. <laughs> you the cool kid, buddy, wearing your hat backwards. It is Father's Day here in Custer State Park. Uh, we got up at 5 a.m. Unfortunately, LB did not sleep well. My wife is ready to kill me right now. But we got up at 5 so we could go drive the wildlife loop and try and catch some of the wildlife while they're still out in the morning. So it's about 5.45 now. We just got on the road. We saw our first deer, but we have a couple of miles over to the wildlife loop. And we're going to go... Uh, drive the wildlife loop and then the Iron Mountain Road while we go up to Rapid City for the day. So we are excited and looking forward to today. We are in Rapid City, South Dakota. It is a Sunday, so most everything is closed, but we're right off the main street where kind of their downtown area is. One cool thing about Rapid City is they have every president basically created a statue. So we've got James Madison, fourth president of the United States. Lauren and I are not a great history buffs on our president, so we are kind of walking around scanning some of them. I'm not sure who that is across the street. Yeah, but I we will go the popular ones but yes if we see george washington or abraham lincoln yeah, we oh, probably abraham can get them abraham lincoln is down there already oh, saw is he? His. okay yeah well we're gonna walk around it is super hot out again today so we're just going for a walk enjoying some shade and a little breeze when we can find it and we got him a cool new cap what does it say buddy it says i still live with my parents does that make you a happy baby <laughs> yeah Pro tip, don't come to Rapid City on Sunday because everything is closed. Except the breweries. Except some of the breweries. This is my buddy George here. Starbucks. Starbucks is open yeah. on a Sunday. <laughs> so nothing is open in Rapid City except for Starbucks and breweries.